Jesse Garcia may be one of the boldest up and coming actors, but at the heart of the fearless nature that brought Jesse to the forefront of film and theater is a wide eyed kid from Wyoming who never stopped dreaming big. I grew up in a small town uh, called Hannah for most of my life. It's, uh, it's about seven, eight hundred people. While I was a kid, I was, I was always a very, very open minded person. Uh, even in a, in some, sometimes people in some small towns can be very uh, closed minded. I've changed a lot in the way I look at things and the way I, I treat life, but at this, the same time, I still have a, a little bit of country in my heart. After his acceptance into an acting conservatory, Jesse suddenly left for some Southern comfort training in the field of theater. I met this girl in one of my classes. She convinced me to move to Atlanta, Georgia to study acting with her. I spoke to this guy named Judson Vaughn at What Films, and I decided over a 45 minute phone call with him that I was gonna drop everything and move to Atlanta. So that night I told my parents at three o'clock in the morning that I was gonna move to Atlanta, Georgia to study acting. You're funny. <sighs> you really think so? In a stupid way, yeah. When I decided I was gonna move to LA, pretty much the next day I got in LA, I was online, I was looking for, looking for classes, I was uh, submitting myself to different projects. I worked very hard. I mean, there was lots of times I had super lows, like literally starving artists, no food in the fridge, no money, behind on rent. The starving artist soon discovered that the risk-taking adventurous spirit eventually paid off when Jesse's breakthrough role came in the form of Carlos, the closeted gay teen he portrayed in the acclaimed film, Quinceanera. That like about a year after I got to LA, which is very kind of bizarre, I booked I booked uh, Quinceanera. I played the cousin of the girl who had a Quinceanera, played by Emily Rios. My dad disowns me because he, he finds out I'm gay. It was challenging for me to kind of really, really step outside, but that's one of those dream roles for an actor, you know what I mean? His performance was noticed by many, including one of Jesse's personal heroes, Edward James Olmos, who cast Jesse in Walkout. Walkout was, was, was amazing to work on. Um, one, I got to work with Edward James Olmos, who I, I've admired forever. It was an amazing experience. It was a huge step in me learning about my culture and, and, and embracing it. Jesse's career has been taking off ever since, establishing him as the go-to actor who isn't afraid to try anything, including taking on a sidekick role on the unconventional Broadway smash hit, The Pee Wee Herman Show. Doing Pee Wee on Broadway, this is, this is killer. The Pee Wee Herman Show is based on the TV show and the old stage production that he did when he first started. It's based in a playhouse. Oh, dancing is fun! Um, and I play Sergio, the handyman, that kind of updates the playhouse and, and is kind of a character that pops in and out all over the place. Over the course of his dynamic career, Jesse has continued to advance as an actor, but in the end, he remains conscious of his contributions to the bigger picture. I'll always get called in for the gangster role, you know what I mean? But until we do something and change that and start providing our own roles, it's not gonna change. And one of the goals that I, I had when I, I decided I was gonna do it is I wanna be able to open doors for other Latinos. I think the best advice I could give is if there's something you want, you gotta work harder than everybody else. 